This is the most dangerous fabrication. You have to stop before before you do irreparable harm. You did not kill Lisa, let alone yes, half was I did. So, so, so now you're a serial killer? Not another word. Sid, I'm Nancy. taking you home right now. I'm working you know on the what? papers. I should be completely offended right now because not one of you has any faith in me. I'm a capable person, okay? I've been running Crimson by myself for months now. It's true. With Lulu gone and Kate gone half the time, and don't you dare tell her that I said that. Everything fell on me and I pulled it off. So I am more than capable of killing Lisa Niles and that first mate. Maxie, you seriously expect me to believe that you killed an innocent woman in cold blood? Maxie, you are not capable of calculated murder. Yeah, well, it shows how much you know. Right, you got listen, you, you, you gotta stop this. You have to stop. Aren't you the one who's always telling me to be honest, Matt? I hated Lisa Niles, and when I saw her on that deck and realized that she was gonna come after Robin again, I picked up that wrench and I gave her what was Do coming to her. Do you understand? So arrest me. That you are in police custody. Do you understand that everything you say in here can be used against you in court? Good. Because you know what? Once I got rid of Lisa and I realized that I might be a suspect, I had to figure out a way to cover up my tracks. So you framed an innocent woman and then killed her? Who was she to me? It's not like I knew the first mate. You are clearly out of your mind. She is out of her mind. Ma right Maxie, now. you would not do these things. Anthony Zakara sure would. What were you two talking about down in lockup, Maxie? I have no idea what you're talking about. No? What do you mean? I mean, when you started all this, you claimed Anthony started the cover-up. It was he who engineered the false confession from first mate Briggs, and then... No, and then Anthony had him. nothing to do with it. I just made that... You know, an hour in adjoining cells downstairs, and suddenly Anthony Zakara is magically innocent, is that it? And you're a serial killer. You honestly expect me to believe that. I feel awful about what I did, and I hate myself, and I plan on making a full confession. That's it. We're done. Officer, can I get her back in her cell, please? Let's go. Alexis. Alexis, wait. We're on the same side. No, we aren't. Do you really want me to pursue this? Because she is clearly distraught, and she seems to have some inside information that involves Anthony Zakara. So until I find out what that is, I don't want her getting in any deeper. People give false confessions all the time. We'll if throw Maxie's out and get her out of here. If you use your authority, you will make it worse I for already her. lost Georgie and Robin. I'm not going to lose Maxie, too. Do you understand? This is not going to happen. I'm sorry, Doc. Robin and Georgie, they were good people, but I, I'm just not. You are. You are. What you're doing right now, this, you're just punishing yourself. Exactly. Because I'm a murderer and I deserve to be punished. Stop thinking about yourself and think about Mac. Do you want him to go through the ordeal of a trial? He won't have to go to trial because I'll plead guilty. Maxie, you gave a sworn statement that you went to Anthony Zakara and asked him to help you cover up Lisa Niles' murder because he owed you a favor for fishing him out of the harbor. You swore you had no idea that he killed first officer. It was a lie! It you was a lie! lie. How about you lie. lying about this now? You know what? It's easy enough to prove. All it takes is one phone call. Well, you've had dealings with Anthony Zakara. Yeah, as a client, I helped plan his wedding. Oh, serial killer slash wedding planner. That'd be a great headline. Okay, if I may remind the commissioner, the elder Zakara was having her follow. Oh, you're just trying to protect me, okay? It was his way of paying me back. From what? From the stripper mugger, of course. Oh, are you sure that wasn't you too? Serial killer slash wedding planner slash stripper mugger. You know what? Anthony just wanted his wedding to go off without a hitch. Okay, so... Look, the point is, is that I, I paid back his kindness by... by bringing him into this and blaming him. His kindness. You sure we're talking about the same Anthony Zakara? See? No, I knew that's the way he felt about him. So when I panicked, I, I blamed him because I knew he'd believe me. Anthony Zakara was also a murder suspect in the Lisa Niles murder. He's far more likely to have framed an innocent third party and then kill her to keep her mouth shut. Anthony Zakara also has resources you don't. He's also an amoral killer, and you're not. How many times have you told me that if pushed far enough, anyone is capable of doing anything? Maxie, Lisa wasn't pushing you. What are you talking about, Spinelli? She shot you right in front of me. And she tortured Robin. So she had exactly what was coming to her. Look, here's the number. Just call it. That'll tell you exactly what you need to know. Go ahead. Take it. Maxie, you need to think about what this is doing to Mac. It's going to destroy him. He just lost Robin. Because of me. Maxie, this, this guilt is both undeserved and wrong-headed. You're making things worse, and not just for yourself, but for those who care about you. It's, it's no longer funny. Look, I know you think that I'm this selfish, shallow person. And I am, but I'm also capable of... I'm doing the right thing. I never thought I would say this. But if you persist... You're dishonoring both your cousin and your sister. Georgie and Robin lost their lives. They would not want you to just throw yours away. 
What is that? First Officer Briggs originally confessed by sending a text. Yeah, well, just send it. Seemed like the easiest way to do it, you know? Send it by your cell phone. And after we searched her apartment, we found a longer, handwritten confession detailing how she murdered Lisa Niles in retaliation for ki killing the captain. Well, if you just call that number. I did. Have Mr. Bowles come in. Oh, thank you. Take a seat, Mr. Bowles. Who is this? Archie Bowles. Ever seen this before? Sure. When? When I wrote it. They forged this note, but it's signed Lauren Briggs. That's what they wanted. Look, they brought this to me so I could copy the style. See, it's a sample. If they had the note written out, I just had to copy it and make it look authentic. So you forged the suicide note? Hey, I didn't know what it was for. It's right there in black and white. People are into all kinds of kinky stuff. I don't get paid to ask questions. No, you just forge handwriting. What can I say? It's a gift that pays a lot of money. Bring him in. This is your work, the so-called suicide note. Like I told you. And you were paid to create this forgery? Handsomely. Would you please tell us who paid you to write this letter? As luck would have it, they're right here in this room. Her. How do you believe me? The forger's lying! He's okay, lying! Listen, clearly somebody got to him. Look, That's I know happened. it's hard to accept, but I met Lisa. Not another word. Uh, excuse me, but uh, are we done here? Okay, look, this, this is all Anthony's doing. He's manipulated the situation. From my accommodations downstairs, that'd be a hell of a trick. You're free to go, Mr. Bulls. What? No, no. no. Uh, arrest him for forgery Juan, for Juan, collusion. Get out of here. You're not going to get away with this, Sakara. You heard the girl. This has got nothing to do with me. My client is suffering from exhaustion and post-traumatic stress. She is not held responsible no, for actually, any... actually, I'm responsible for all of it, actually. Can I go? My lovely wife is waiting. Wait, wait, you, you, you can't release him. He'll, he'll use the opportunity to cement his pernicious lies against Maxie. He can't hold me, not unless he wants a hell of a lawsuit. You're free to go. But, but he's lying. I mean, he was incarcerated in close proximity to Maxie. He, he no doubt threatened her, forcing her to take the blame for his evil doing. You're emotional and none too stable, so I'll overlook these groundless accusations for now. But don't cross me again. You gotta stop this. It's enough. I, I know you feel terrible about Robin, but this killer is still out there, so you just, you gotta tell the truth. You really do care about me, don't you? Of course. Hey, just, listen, just do this for me, okay? Just tell us what happened. I did. Go ahead, rest me, okay? It's, it's okay. You're not leaving me much choice, Maxie. I have to call the DA. Please don't do this. Just, just give it some time. Mariah Maximiliana Jones, you are under arrest for the murders of Lisa Niles and Lauren Briggs. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney and to have an attorney present during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Do you understand these rights as I read them to you?